The Conservative Party is focusing on its common sense plan to cut taxes, build houses, fix budgets, and stop crime. The Prime Minister is not worth the cost or the corruption of a RIVE scam. The RCMP is investigating, and the Auditor General did, and met with the AG met with the police and said there would it would take a court order to get all the documents. Would the, will the Prime Minister produce all the documents to the RCMP and the AG so that we can know the full truth? The Honourable Minister of Public Services and Procurement. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And our colleague is right to point out the important work done by the Auditor General. She tabled uh, a damning report on Monday. We acknowledge that. Steps have been taken and more will follow soon. That said, all the information is transparent and shared with the RCMP, among others. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Auditor General said uh, after she exposed the arrive scam uh, with this $60 million in spending she's been able to find, she says the RCMP, whom she just met about the scandal, we'll now have to go to court to get a production order to get all of the documents that the Prime Minister is covering up. If the Prime Minister really has nothing to hide in his arrive scam affair, then why won't he release the documents to both the police and the parliamentary committees investigating so we can get to the bottom of this scandal? The Honourable Minister for Public Works and uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. After having thanked and lauded the work of the Auditor General, our colleague wouldn't certainly want to pretend that she is not able to do her job. Her integrity and her independence are essential to the work of the government. We are grateful for what she does and we are grateful for what she will be able to continue doing. The Honourable Member, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, actually, she pointed out that she can't even total up the full cost of the Arrive Scam app because many of the documents were still hidden from her, either because they've been destroyed by corrupt Liberal government officials or because the Prime Minister is having them hidden. And now the RCMP will have to get a production order to get all the documents, documents that are being deprived of the parliamentary committees investigating. So once again, a simple yes or no question. Will the Prime Minister hand over every single document that refers to the Arrive Scam or GC strategies, yes or no? The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition knows very well that our government is collaborating Absolutely. with parliamentary committees. The Office of the Auditor General, the Border Services Agency is doing uh, an internal review and investigation with respect to many of these matters. And officials have, from the very beginning, referred to the RCMP any and all information where they think it might be appropriate for the RCMP to investigate. The government will always cooperate with these lawful authorities to ensure that they can do the work that Canadians properly expect them to do. Always did, always will. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the the Arrive Scam scandal is so bad that even former NDP leader Tom Mulcair has taken note. He said, but with the revelations of the past few days, I have to face the facts. This is the first major Canadian political stand scandal since the sponsorship scandal, and it's likely to be even bigger. Given that the NDP's own former leader is saying this Prime Minister is not worth the cost or corruption. Why are they keeping him in power? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Public Safety. Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we thought that that level of exaggeration would be exclusive to the Leader of the Opposition. I can't speak for Mr. Mulcair. What I can tell Canadians, Mr. Speaker, is that the government takes these circumstances extraordinarily seriously. We accept the recommendations of the Auditor General. We have at all times worked with parliamentary committees and senior officials to ensure they have the tools necessary to investigate these matters and, of course, to hold to account those that may have done something inappropriate. The Honourable Leader. 
Arrive Scam, a failed app that should have cost $80,000 but cost Canadians $60 million. GC Strategies, the two middlemen working out of their basement, getting $258 million in IT contracts and never did a keystroke of IT work. Turns out they've been whining and dining senior Liberal government officials. Another $150 million embezzled at the Prime Minister's billion-dollar green slush fund with hand-picked NDP Liberal board members funneling millions to their own companies. The Prime Minister is not worth the cost and not worth the corruption. But there's hope yet. Conservatives are going to end the corruption, axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget and stop the crime. Our common sense plan will axe the tax on everything for everyone for good. We'll tie municipal funding to housing to make sure more houses get built, not bureaucracy. Conservatives will find savings by scrapping a rive can. We'll bring jail, not bail. For Canadians, Madam Speaker, we're going to bring it home. Here, here. The Honourable Member for Oakville North, Burlington. Thank you, Madam Speaker. We know we have a housing crisis, and that's why we're investing in the creation of homes nationwide, including in Oakville and Burlington. In 2023, we announced over $55 million to build 131 purpose-built rental homes in Oakville, with the funding coming as a fully repayable low-interest loan through the CMHC Apartment Construction Loan Program. And last month in Burlington, we announced that the City of Burlington would re be receiving $21 million from the Housing Accelerator Fund, which will create 600 homes in the next three years and 5,000 new homes over the next decade. This is a step in the right direction for Oakville and Burlington because we know that every Canadian should have access to safe, affordable housing. We're working with developers and municipalities to get more homes built at prices that people can afford. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Years of this NDP Liberal government, their Arrive Scam app that was supposed to cost $80,000 cost Canadians $60 million. And just like this, NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not worth the cost or the corruption. GC Strategies, the two person team who was working out of their basement, got paid $20 million and did no IT work, but they did take senior Liberal officials out for whiskey tastings and fine dinners. Not worth the cost and not worth the corruption. So will this NDP Liberal Prime Minister join common sense Conservatives as we call for the RCMP to expand the investigation into this Liberal scandal? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, very pleased to answer this question, which we have heard before and to which we have provided appropriate answers already. Pleased to remind everyone that the Auditor General had not only the job, but the very important job of tabling a report on Monday, which we are looked at and obviously already troubled about the findings the finding that there are in that report. And we have taken into account all the recommendations that are in the report, and many of them have been put into place already for some time. The Honourable Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Speaker, the Minister says the Auditor had an important job, but that Minister and all of these Liberals voted against the Auditor conducting the Audit. It was because of the Leader of the Opposition moving a motion in November of 2022 that we had that Auditor General investigation. And just like that was the right thing to do then, calling in the RCMP is the right thing to do now. This is an $80,000 app that ballooned to $60 million. We have a two-person firm working out of their basement being paid $20 million and whining and dining senior Liberal officials. Will these Liberals and the cover-up and join Conservatives in calling for an expanded RCMP investigation. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And the member is completely uh, right in pointing to the important work of the Auditor General. She did work very hard over the last few months, and that's what we expect of her and her office. She tabled an important report on Monday. As she has said repeatedly, she's also completely willing and able to work with all other partners and institutions across the government including with the RCMP, with which she is already in touch. The Honourable for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes. Well, of course the Auditor General is willing and able to do her 
to do her work, but the problem is this government refuses to give her the documents that she needs to fully account for the $60 million that was spent on this boondoggle. These Liberals have in the past used the executive to shield themselves from investigation by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police like they did in the SNC-Lavalin scandal. So this time Canadians want to know who got rich other than, of course, these two guys working out of their basement who took Liberal bosses out for fine dinners and whiskey tastings. Will these Liberals join our calls to call in the RCMP and investigate this scandal? L'honorable ministre. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and we are very pleased, obviously, to hear the member clearly state that he has full confidence in the ability of the Auditor General to keep doing her job, including supporting the RCMP when that is demanded by the RCMP. There are other members that are asking questions or making comments. I would ask them to please hold off and allow the Honourable Member to administer or whoever is answering or asking questions uh, to be uninterrupted. L'Honourable Député de Mégantic Lérable. The Honourable Member for Mégantic Lérable. Mr. Speaker, is ultimately uh, the Prime Minister is ultimately responsible for Arrive Can, which was supposed to cost 80 grand and ended up casting, costing 750 times more. This is the scandal of the century. The Prime Minister gave $250 million to a company of two people working out of a basement in a cottage. It's the tip of the iceberg of wasting public funds, according to La Presse. Madam Speaker, after eight years, who in this government is finally going to stand up to the Prime Minister and tell him he's not worth the cost or the corruption? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Not only do we have to thank the Auditor General for her work, but we have to read her report carefully. What we're hearing on the other side of the House is unfortunately not helpful and may even be counterproductive. We're doing a serious job. The Auditor General has done a serious job, and we're counting on her to continue to keep up the good work. The Honourable Member for Megan Ticlerable. The minister's telling the, the truth. I'm quoting from newspaper articles ever since the Auditor General revealed this scandal. Canadians ended up paying $60 million for an app that was only supposed to cost 80 grand. And according to the papers, GC Strategy doesn't do any IT work. They were paid millions of dollars to develop a useless app. And we're talking about $250 million total in contracts. Will the Prime Minister, who's not worth the cost, give us and the RCMP all the documents so that we can shed full light on this matter? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The member is quite right to talk about the costs of protecting the health and safety of Canadians, including in times of a pandemic, which cost a lot of Canadian lives which caused a lot of jobs, which caused problems with the flow of trade and so on. Despite the fact that this was a major crisis, the AG clearly said it was unacceptable for CBSA to not do its job properly. Madam Speaker, the Arrive scam app is just like the Prime Minister, not worth the cost and not worth the corruption. The Auditor General revealed that an app that didn't work cost taxpayers a staggering $60 million, including $20 million that went to a two-person company that did no work. Now the RCMP have launched a criminal investigation but are being obstructed by these Liberals who are hiding documents. Will the Prime Minister stop the obstruction and turn over the documents today? <laughs> Merci, Madame la Présidente, uh, cette uh, question. Thank you, Madam Speaker. There have already been a number of answers given to that question this week and even today. The answer is still the same. The Auditor General deserves our acknowledgement. She's done a lot of work, and it's very important, and the report on Monday was troubling. The good news is that a lot of the recommendations she made have already been implemented and have been uh, for some time now, but the work is ongoing because it's very important to ensure that the public service is doing its work properly, even in times of crisis. Federal member of St. Albert, Edmonton. Madam Speaker, 60 million taxpayers' dollars wasted, fraud, forgery, and corruption. 
That is a rive scam, and these Liberals have tried to cover up this scandal every step of the way. They obstructed parliamentary committees, they attempted to obstruct an investigation by the Auditor General, and now they're obstructing an RCMP criminal investigation. When will these Liberals stop the obstruction and turn over the documents to the RCMP? Thank you, Madam Speaker. As I already said in English, there's no obstruction here. On the contrary, the Auditor General has to have all the documents she needs to do her work because her work goes to the very heart of the integrity of our dem democratic and parliamentary system. And that's why she needs to have access to all those documents. And that, because she had access to those documents, that's how she was able to do her work. And we will share the documents with other partners like the RCMP. The RCMP needs access to the documents so that people can be held to account for this waste. The NDP Liberal government's waste of at least $60 million on the Arrive Scam Act, which wrongly put 10,000 people into mandatory quarantine, was so bad that the RCMP are investigating, and they need access to these documents. After eight years, Canadians deserve better. They deserve accountability and transparency. Why haven't the Liberals released these documents, and what are they trying to hide? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's upsetting to hear the Conservatives questioning the integrity of the Auditor General. She said very clearly in recent days that not only was she able to uh, work with the RCMP, she said she already was. And we will provide anything that RCMP wishes to have. To be clear, Madam Speaker, I'm not questioning the integrity of the Auditor General. I'm questioning the integrity of this government that is hiding, hiding these documents from the RCMP. Canadians deserve accountability. Somebody needs to be held to account for the waste of $60 million that went to a shady IT company that had two people working in a basement. Why haven't the Liberals released these documents? Release them now. Yeah. Order, order. I'm sure that the Deputy Government House Leader, uh, if he wishes to answer, will stand. Uh, but I would just ask him to please wait until uh, it's the appropriate time to do that. The Honourable Minister. Merci, Madame la Présidente. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm sure that the member opposite is not also claiming that the RCMP can't do its job properly. The RCMP, like the Auditor General, are arm's length, independent of government. They can do their work without, they, they are to do their work without any political interference. The Honourable Member for Les Etchemins Belsas Lévis. Mr. Speaker, Canadians are in shock. They paid a minimum of 60, the government paid a minimum of $60 million for Arrive Can, which was supposed to cost only 80 grand. That's 750 times more. The AG has said this is probably some of the worst financial record keeping she's ever seen. After eight years of this worn out and incompetent government, Arrive Can is like the Prime Minister, not worth the cost. Will the Prime Minister join with us in asking the RCMP to expand its investigation? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. A lot of things have already been fully explained, and it's worth mentioning again that just a few months ago and a few years ago, Canada went through the worst pandemic in, the, in a century, the worst economic crisis. We had to react quickly and effectively to save the lives of m thousands of Canadians and to save uh, huge amounts of uh, economic activity. Unfortunately, th this contract was broke the rules, and the, it's, it's unacceptable for public servants to have not followed the rules. The Honourable Member for Belchasse Les Echemins Lévis. Had it not been for the Conservatives last fall calling for this investigation, none of this scandal would have been uncovered. 
Since this government took office eight years ago, it's been chaos. Nothing works. The prime minister is not worth the cost. The app was basically two men getting millions of dollars from the basement of a bungalow to develop a, an app that wasn't supposed to was wasn't supposed to cost more than eighty grand. GC Strategies got a huge share of the contracts, many of them untendered. With the Liberals, it's an open bar. The Conservatives wants the RCMP to expand its investigation. Will the prime minister join with us? I'd like to remind the honourable member that she has to direct her questions through the Speaker's chair and not directly to the government. The honourable minister. Thank you, Madam Speaker. My colleague is quite right. The Auditor General's work is crucial, it's essential, and she needs to have everything she all the documents to do the work properly. She did her work properly, and she tabled her report on Monday. The results are shocking and alarming, and the recommendations have to be taken seriously. In most cases, those recommendations were already implemented weeks ago. The Honourable Member for Terban. The AG's report on ArriveCan is a Russian doll of scandals. It's unacceptable that an app estimated at 80 grand ended up costing 60 million. It's even more unacceptable that it's impossible to know the true cost because of missing documents. It's even more unacceptable that GC Strategies drafted the call for tenders to make sure they would get the contract. And it's the height of unacceptability that this two-person company, which does nothing, was awarded 140 other contracts since 2010. When will there be an investigation into each and every one of those other contracts. The Honourable Minister, thank you, Madam Speaker. And yes, indeed, the lack of documentation is the key finding in the AG's report. The documentation was defective and incomplete. The docu documents were not uh, filed properly. And that is basically one of the core findings of the report. And that is why we are continuing and will continue to do the cleanup work that needs doing. The Honourable Member for Terban. Well, apparently the record-keeping has been bad since 2010. Maybe something should have been done about this before then. GC Strategies has been getting contracts since 2015, and under a new president at CBSA, another $12 million was invested in ArriveCan. There is clearly a culture of zero accountability at the agency, which continues to this day. So is this government going to put the agency under third-party management or not? The Honourable Minister, thank you, Madam Speaker, and I'd like to thank my colleague. It's true. The CBSA plays an essential role every day in, facil in facilitating the flow of travelers and billions of dollars' worth of trade. And that was very important during the pandemic. People needed essential medications. Uh, there was essential equipment needed to cross the border, including in the member opposite's riding. St. Margaret's. The Arrive Scam app is just like the Prime Minister, not worth the cost and not worth the corruption. Yep. The RCMP is investigating this $80,000 app, which cost more than $60 million. But the Auditor General said to take it will take a court order for the RCMP to get access to all the documents into this Liberal corruption. Will the Prime Minister stop his cover-up, not make the police seek a court order, and hand over all the documents voluntarily to the police and to Parliament so Canadians can learn the truth? You would hope so. You would.